Um, but so what did you do to try to capitalize on that energy, if anything, you know, coming into the off season and then into the new season? Um, I actually think that the effects of the Stanley Cup, sure, while you can look from a business perspective and, and look to strong sales and whatnot in, in the next couple of years, I actually think, or I hope at least, um, that the impact of a championship has a legacy that, that's more long term. And I, I, I remember during the parade we had close to 700,000 people uh, along Constitution Avenue in the National Mall. Um, it was certainly my first championship moment that I can remember. And I think uh, when you looked into the crowd, it was filled with families, uh, families with, with younger children, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, uh, kids in college who are gonna be sticking around Washington, D.C. after graduating. And um, this will be the moment that's indelible in their memories the same way maybe the Redskins parade was for the generation uh, you know, ahead of me in the 1990s. And so uh, I think that hopefully we've captured a generation of fans. We were talking earlier about the growth of youth hockey in Los Angeles. The Kings won two Stanley Cups, the Ducks won one. Los Angeles is the number one fastest growing market for youth hockey. Um, Washington's number two. And I'm hoping that after Stanley Cup win, we can become number one and, and maybe pass the mm -hmm. LA.